introduce uh, uh, one of our players. I'd just like to introduce first off our CEO, uh, President and CEO, Dardis Willis. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, very excited to be here today, uh, especially with the opportunity to uh, bring forth a player that uh, we wanted to bring home since day one. Uh, last year, uh, during the All-Star Game, I had opportunity to uh, meet a gentleman uh, that was a perfect gentleman uh, actually getting ready to play in the All-Star Game. Had no clue he was from Windsor. And uh, we sat down and began to talk, and he talked about uh, some of his, his experience in the league. And prior to even letting me know he was from Windsor, he began to talk a little bit about the league and how um, uh, some of the challenges that were there, how early on he started, he was recruited uh, with one team and he ended up on a different team. But more importantly, he talked about the uh, league's competition and how the level of play in the National Basketball League of Canada was very high. Um, with that said, I finally... Um, identified that he was from Windsor and uh, actually played for the Lancers. So it, it began to calculate in my head early on that not only did we have a kid here who was not really focused on himself, but talking about the opportunities that were there, the league itself, and uh, what has happened to him since he walked into the uh, league itself. Uh, after talking to Isaac, uh, a little uh, longer, he began to talk about some of the roots of basketball, uh, being here in Windsor, and how some of the things that he learned uh, under Coach Oliver and the things and the people in the community. Uh, it really began to hit home that we have the opportunity to bring home not only a kid with a good attitude, but a kid with a great level of skill, someone that understood what professional basketball was all about. Uh, he understood early on that uh, nothing is given to him and that everything must be earned. And he was given the opportunity to show what he was capable of doing with a team uh, by the name of St. John. Um, he waited his turn, he got opportunity to play, and he did what he, he did knew how to do best. Um, with that in mind, he became um, the league's highest percentage um, three-point shooter. Uh, he was the leader on his team. Uh, he stepped right into place um, to lead the team to the playoffs. So we were really excited about some of the things that he had accomplished in such a small amount of time. And the most important piece here is that he was given an opportunity to show what his skills and abilities could do. And we attribute a lot of that to um, a lot of his self-determination, uh, his makeup, and then some of the things that the coach himself instilled in him. He also talked about some of the uh, program uh, things that happened here uh, under Coach Oliver. And so some of those things really begin to resonate with us that there may be an opportunity to bring him home, to bring home a kid that could um, not only have played his college ball here, but now can play his professional ball. I think that'll send a great message to the kids that not only can they uh, start off with basketball in their, on their mind, but now they can finish their career and play professional basketball in the same city uh, under the National Basketball League of Canada. So I'm really, really excited about that. Today is about um, two of the coaches uh, and Isaac and how important it is that we recognize that we have great, great talent, not only in Canada, but great, great talent right here in Windsor. And with that in mind, I want to bring up uh, first uh, Coach Oliver to talk a little bit about um, himself, his program, and Isaac, and what it means to him to uh, have one of his kids and potentially uh, a second kid uh, playing for the Windsor Express in a, at a professional level. Uh, I think... Uh, Coach Oliver can speak pretty clear on what he instills in the kids and what his expectations are 
uh, from the kids. Coach Aller. Yep. Thank you, Dardis and uh, the Windsor Express. Uh, as Dardis mentioned, I mean, this is wonderful for our basketball program, and, you know, I feel for our community as well. I mean, we had a chance over the four years Isaac played for us to see him grow up as a, not just as a basketball player, but as a young man as well. And uh, share a little brief story with you that uh, one of the first things I heard when I recruited Isaac to come to Windsor was from some of his former coaches and teachers and basically saying that he would have no chance to ever graduate that he wasn't capable of getting that done. And uh, I think the two proudest moments of my life with Isaac were seeing him graduate and seeing him get his Canadian citizenship finally. And both those things happened last year. And, uh, you know, for my money, that's what, you know, if Isaac was to thank this community, I think he'd thank them most for those two things because they happened because of the hard work of so many people in our community. And uh, I think that's why it's wonderful for us to be able to watch him you know, take this next step as a young man and uh, move into his professional basketball career and, and you know, his adopted hometown. And uh, I know he'll tell you he's from Mississauga, but uh, I know if you ask him now, he's probably saying his hometown, you know, is Windsor and uh, very proud of that because so much in his life has happened positively here. So, Isaac, I congratulate you on that. And, uh, Coach, I look forward to you taking the reins and uh, moving Isaac forward in terms of his basketball career as well. But uh, very happy you know, on behalf of the University of Windsor men's basketball program and the University of Windsor in general, to have Isaac back in our community. Thank you. Bye, babe. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you got one of those. Well, let's make sure we put one on you. Got a small head. So got a small know. head. <laughs> you want to put it on now? Or? Yeah, whenever you want. Whenever you want. All right. You can go ahead and say a few things. Yep. I'm very excited uh, to be back in the community. Um, community that adopted me four years ago, I mean five years ago now. Um, it, it, it started here, man. I mean, I remember when I, when, when I decided to come back here, I told Oliver that, um, you know, I want to I wanna play basketball professionally and, you know, I want to work on my game. And, and he said, hey, listen, you come here, we'll do individuals. Uh, you can stay during the summertime and I'll and I work with you. And, you know, he did that and uh, he... Uh, he used to go uh, go online, talk to coaches, find out workouts that you know we can do to get to get me better. Uh, and you know what? And and um, and most important thing that I learned, obviously, I grew as a person. I mean, when I came here, I mean, a, 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 a lot of you people here uh, saw me my first year. I mean, <laughs> I was a mess, you know. And and you know, I grew, and you know, I be I learned the game, you know. I I. My IQ just went up. I got smarter. I mean, my game got better. I became a better leader, you know. And uh, and for, and for me to be back here in the community that really really supported me, you know, Gordon Grace. Took okay. Hello, I'm Candice Mine at xes.com, and I have with me Isaac from the Windsor Express basketball team. How are you doing, Isaac? Um, I'm 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 elated. I'm I'm very, I'm very happy to be back home. I'm I'm really really excited to see familiar faces. Okay, um, you mentioned that you're excited to be back. Um, do you think that you're going to be facing any like differences playing here rather than playing with the teams you were with before? Yeah, well, yeah, it's uh, because uh, there are going to be a lot of different guys coming from all over the place, so we kind of have to gel as a team. Hopefully, we're getting a lot of practice playing, playing together, learning, each, uh, learning the, the new system, new coach. Uh, yeah, it's 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 always it's always kind of. Difficult, you know, with new coach and new players, you just gotta have to work in and uh, get in a lot of practices. And I know your um, your first game is coming up soon. What type of training are you doing to prepare for that? Like, what is your daily or weekly schedule looking like? Well, uh, we we have a personal trainer who who I, I do uh, agil agility and uh, and conditioning with, and then with uh, with Coach Oliver, I do individual, which is which is on ba which is basketball stuff drills where I work on my shooting. Coming off screen, curls, floaters, uh, ball handling, just 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 along. so I, I do two workouts: the conditioning part and then the on court stuff. So, um, what types of challenges do you think you're going to be facing coming back in the season right now? Uh, uh, just gelling together as a team. They're going to be different guys. A lot of guys from different areas. So we're going to have to try to play together, 
and, and, and you start to learn the system. I mean, Coach Jones, I'm sure he's, he's going to introduce his offense and his, and his defensive scheme. So we, we, we're going to have to learn those and pick those up quicker. Hopefully everybody can pick it up quicker at the same time so we all can kind of have good practices and kind of look organized out there. Okay. Well, thank you, Isaac. This is CandiceMind at Thanks for watching.